Hey guys, I am going to read us aloud our article, Bees, Super Sensors, Super Learners. Okay, so if this is the article that you have chosen for this week's homework, um, go ahead and read along with me. Bees and flowering plants depend on each other. Bees depend on flowers for nectar that they use to produce honey. And plants depend on bees to carry pollen between flowers so they can reproduce. Because of their close relationship, bees and flowers communicate with signals human senses cannot detect. We might notice a flower's sweet fragrance or bright colors, but a bee will see these colors three times faster than we can. To attract bees, many flowers also have patterns that we cannot see. They are only visible in ultraviolet light. Dr. Ann Leonard studies bees at the University of Nevada. She says that plants make their flowers easy for bees to see, learn, and remember. In an interview with National Public Radio, she explained that a flower's fragrance, colors, and patterns are advertisements, letting bees know where to find nectar. It turns out that flowers send other signals that we can't read. Bees in the electric field. Plants have weak electric fields. An electric field is a force field with charges that can attract or repel. Flowers have a slight negative charge compared to the air around them. Bumblebees have a charge too. It's a static charge, like the charge you get when you shuffle across carpet in wool socks. A bee gets a slight positive charge when it flies, rapidly flapping its wings in the air. When it lands on a flower, this charge causes, causes the pollen to stick to the fuzzy hairs on its body. After observing bumblebees' electric charges, some scientists began asking questions. One of them, Daniel Robert, explained, a pollen grain needs to stick to the bee, but not too much so it can be deposited on the next flower. I thought maybe this electric field was more important than just attraction. Robert worked with a team of researchers. Together, they designed a few experiments to determine if bees can sense flowers' electric fields. These are the experiments. For one experiment, the researchers built an enclosure full of fake flowers. Half of the fake flowers held sugar water the other half held a bitter liquid that bees don't like. They released bumblebees in the enclosure and they observed that the bees flew randomly between the flowers. Bees landed on bitter flowers about as often as the sweet ones. Then the researchers added a small electric charge to the fake flowers that held just the sugar water. The bees quickly learned to choose the flowers that also had the charge. When the charge was removed, the bees went back to visiting both the sweet and bitter flowers at random. The bees had sensed the electric field and had learned to use it to find the sweet flowers. In another investigation, the researchers placed electrodes on the stems of real flowers. Their results showed that when a bee lands to gather pollen, a flower's electric field gets weaker. If the flower has visited um, been visited, sorry, by several bees recently, it loses its charge for over a minute. These experiments demonstrated that bees can detect a flower's electric field. Bees pass by flowers without a charge. It's a sign that these flowers have already been visited and need time to produce more nectar. A flower's electric field works like honest, um, honesty in advertising. As Robert said, we learn to rely on ads that accurately reflect conditions. When you drive your car and the motel sign says vacancy, you might stop. When it says no vacancy, you don't. You have learned to trust the sign. Bees learn that flowers with a charge will produce nectar. A flower's fragrance, colors, and patterns might attract a bee but an electric charge provides the sign that tells it whether or not to stop. By being able to sense the electric field and use this information, bees judge which flowers to visit 
in which to fly past. Okay, there's also a little sidebar for this article. It says, feeling the buzz. After, uh, sorry, even after knowing that bumblebees can sense and react to electric signals from flowers, scientists were unsure how they did this. In a new study, researchers discovered that the bees feel a buzz through their fuzz. The researchers used a laser beam to detect the motions of the bees' hairs. They found that the tiny hairs bent in response to static electricity, like when your hair sticks up when you rub it with a balloon. The researchers used an electrode to record nerve activity at the bottom of the hairs. They found that the tiny vibrating hairs sent signals to the bee's nervous system. The bees were then able to react to the electric information. All right, guys, go ahead and work on the questions.